Hello, this is Brother Andrew. I'd like to show you how to use our Articulate Storyline Character Packs. All right, so I'm right here in the library. So this is the eLearning Templates library. And then I came over here and I went to Cut Out People and then down to Storyline Characters. All right, so when you get here, you can just kind of browse through the different character packs that we have. Just pick the one that you want down. All right, I'm going to click on Montel here. All right, so from here you can download the actual storyline template file with the all these 10 poses built into it, or you can download the actual PNG images and have those as separate images. So for now I'm going to show you how to download this and then use that and open it up in, uh, in storyline. So I click download here, and then that goes to a download folder. So my browser saves my downloaded files right here in the downloads folder. Now what you can do is you could double click on this, or you could go into Storyline and click File Open. And when you do that, what it does is it opens up this window right here. So basically the Montel that you downloaded from the library has a full body option and then has kind of a cropped option. And all you need to do is just choose one of these and click Import. So when you click Import, it's going to pull that into your Storyline file. If I double click onto this and go into the, my slide view, I click on Montel here. You can see down here, if you click on the States tab, you can see all the different states of him. So you can come to your timeline. You can you know, drag this wherever you want to. You can make, him, make it a different size, move it around. You can copy and paste this. So you could have you know, two different instances of this person. Let me just cut it. You could always come up here, create a new slide. Let's just throw a new slide into our, uh, into our course here. Let's insert that and then you could come down here onto that new slide and then paste in Montel. Come in here and just paste him. So you can see how you can just insert him into a lot of different places in your course and then copy and paste him and move him around and make him bigger and smaller and things like that. Now once you've actually opened that template file it's basically installed into the template library within Storyline. So let's say you have a new course right now and you want to use this Montel character all you need to do is go up here to insert new slide or on home new slide. Let's click new slide. Go up to templates. And then from your drop down here, you'll see all the templates that you've installed before. And your uh, Montel will be one of those. So in this case, you can say I have other characters installed. So you just choose that and then you would just again, you know, choose which, which style that you wanted there and click import. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how to use it once you have it imported. All right, so if I click on the states here, you can see that there's a lot, of, a lot of different states of Montel. So this is what we're calling as the normal state. So maybe you don't want the normal state to be the first one that's visible. You know, maybe you want it to be, let's say, applause. Well, you can come down here to initial state. You can click that drop down and you can choose which one is the initial state that's visible. Let's choose applause. And so you could you know, move this over here and then put your content and text over here and, and it would be the applause photo. Now you can also do things like this. So let's go ahead and insert. Um, let's insert a button. I'll choose this one right here. Just draw a button right here. Alright, so now you can come over here and you can say, let's say you have this button here, and then let me copy and paste that and create another button. So maybe you have some text here, and this was, you know, option one, and this was option two. And you wanted them to click on whichever button was the right option. Well, basically, what you can come in here and do now is you can say, okay, for button number one, let me add a trigger. And when they click button number one, let's have, let's change the state, right? Change the state of... Montel, because you can see him you know, right here, right, has the, oops, has the red going around him. And let's change that to, I don't know, idea. Or actually, let's do um, excited. Maybe number one was correct. And then you come down here to button number two, and you can say change the state of this, of Montel. And you could change that to be something like, you know, frustrated or something like that, because maybe that was the wrong answer. So you can see you can move these characters all around. You can have triggers to activate the different states and then insert them into different courses as you build them. That's it.